and pour a cup of tea. I am so grateful. Today I am drinking Where's My Mind to give me that Monday daylight savings time mental focus and clarity that I need with a bit of my wonderful woman's tea, which is this amazing, nourishing, hormonal balancing tea, which I happen to need today. So welcome as you come in. I'm so excited to see you. I figured we would talk today a little bit about like, I don't know if you guys have been there. If you have, let me know. But, um, you know, you start getting into natural remedies and things like that, and you really want it for your family, but maybe some people in your family don't really believe in it quite like you do, so it becomes really, really hard to get them on board. Let me know if you've been there, because I definitely have. Um, and hello to those of you that are new. My name is Mel. I am a clinical herbalist. I'm a mama of a beautiful eight-year-old daughter. I live in the foothills of Mount Hood in Oregon, and I've got this crazy passion for teaching more people to use plants as medicine in a safe and effective way, and a really tasty way so you can actually get your kiddos and family on board. Basically, so that you can take better care of yourself and take better care of your family and also take better care of our planet. Hey, Crosshop, thanks for the hello. So as you get here, let me know you're here. Let me know where you're from or if you use herbs already or if you have any major questions. Today, I'm going to be going over some of the things that I've had happen in my life and many other of my students have had happen where like they're really passionate and they really want to start using herbs, but the people in their family are like, nope, not going to do it. They think maybe they're a little too woo woo or crazy and they just don't really believe in it. So like, how do you get your family on board? And how can you make that difference, right? It's a big, big deal. Oh, you're from Colorado, but also a trucker. My mom's late husband uh, was also a truck driver, and Colorado is beautiful. Um, it's got to be kind of nice not always having to drive through those mountains. I remember I live in Oregon on Mount Hood, and I remember he didn't want to be around here because of the like mountain driving and the snowy conditions, things like that. So um, if you guys are here and you love learning about plant medicine, you're totally in the right space. I appreciate your love and your likes and your hellos and your questions. If you have friends that you think would love this kind of stuff, please, please share it with them. So um, we can make herbalism spread like wildflowers and get more people onto this movement because the reality is the more people that do choose to use plants as medicine instead of constantly relying on big pharma and the drug companies that really don't give too much of a damn about how healthy you and I are, um, the more opportunity we have this to have to make this world a better place, to take some of the power back into our own hands and to live with a little bit more freedom and independence, the ability to take better care of your family, like it is gold. But it can be really hard making that switch. And yeah, cross up, Washington's amazing. Um, obviously, I'm very close. My mother-in-law lives in Washington and Vancouver, and we spend a lot of time going over there and getting free childcare. <laughs> um, and then there's so many beautiful places to explore, of course. And natural medicine is great. And it's so empowering. And it's a wonderful, complex subject. And that's what I'm here to do, is to help you discover how you can use herbs and plants as medicine in a more safe and effective way. And today we're going to talk about how you can get like more believers in your tribe. I know when I first got with my partner, who I've been now with 20, 12 years, um, he wasn't such a believer, you know, he was kind of a, a manly, manly guy. And he is like, yeah, sure, whatever. Doesn't really believe in it, but I kept doing it. And he never like really shot me down, but you could always feel that like, okay, Mel, sure. Um, but now this, to this day, like he is a firm believer and he'll teach his manly mountain man friends all about it. He'll like call people out when they're saying something that is wrong or, or, you know, just he knows a little better. It's really, really cool. I'm like, look, I turned you into an herbalist. <laughs> 
I am the glue trying to find a way to make herbal remedies taste good for kids. That's the goal. Did you know I have a free class coming up? If you have not registered yet, please do because we are going to be talking about my three best tips for getting your kiddos to not only take your herbal remedies, but like love them and beg you for more instead of wanting to spit them out right away. There's some really great tips or tricks that we'll be talking about. I have the free class available on Wednesday and Thursday, and you can register through the link in my bio, which will be really, really easy for you. And we're also gonna talk about eight of the most potent herbs you already have inside your kitchen cabinet. And we are going to talk about doo -doo -doo, some of the bigger com uh, secrets that the drug companies don't want you to know. Oh, awesome. Well, I am grateful that you are here, especially if you're gonna stick to making herbalism spread like wildflowers since you are the glue. You keep it all together. Uh, Masha, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here. You steeped some dried cranberries in one of your teas the other day. That sounds really tasty. Is anybody else drinking tea right now? I am drinking my wonderful woman's blend out of this special mug that is a handmade mug I traded tea for. Um, I'm drinking the wonderful woman's. It's the first day of my period, so maybe that's going to weed out those that don't want to know that kind of thing. But it's one of those days where I'm just like low energy and kind of just want to snuggle at home. And it's gray and cloudy today where I live, so... Anyways, um, this tea is magical. It's just nice, like, it feels like a warm blanket wrapping itself around me with so much love. Mmm, Moringa tea. Awesome. It is life and it is love, but, you know, there's... There's some people in the world that don't want to hear about it. Um, I'm grateful for it, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm also grateful for the tea that helps me out so much. It's it's so, so, so nice. So I, I put a, a combo here. I've actually got the, I thought I had the tin right next to me, but I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, ooh, dandelion and burdock root. You are getting ready for some spring cleaning inside of your body. That's amazing, and welcome back. You're a nurse, right? A helper, helper KLD. Um, yeah, so I'm drinking this. It's Wonderful Woman's. It's this hormonal balancing blend, and I did this blend of like, there's red raspberry leaf and nettles, the red raspberry leaf to strengthen and tone the uterus and help deal with cramping and bloating and that kind of thing. The nettles just to nourish the body as we deplete ourselves. Um, and then there is linden flower and passion flower, chamomile, oat tops, all kinds of beautiful, beautiful herbs to support your nerves. Cause sometimes women, when they really need this tea, maybe a little bit more crazy than other types. We may be a little bit more on edge. So I put those in there. There's Vitex in there. There's uh, jasmine flower and lavender and roses. It's, it's, it's a beautiful blend. I'll even show you how beautiful. Can you see that? That, I put two full rosebuds on top of each tin of tea um, because I think more wonderful women deserve more beautiful flowers and every little touch of love is amazing. So it is wonderful, it is. And thank you for all of your work in um, nursing and helping people in hospitals. It's really important work, so. Thank you. I've yet to try the butterfly pea stuff. You know, I really focus on herbs and teas for their medicinal value. And I don't, I, like the butterfly pea has just kind of come up suddenly as this big trend. And I take a long time to hop on trends. I'm kind of, kind of slow and old fashioned kind of gal. Um, yeah, but I hear it's beautiful. <laughs> I definitely hear that. So um, let's talk a little bit more about like, I really want to touch on this because I hear this from a lot of my students. I've had this happen in my family, in my life. Um, one of my coworkers has definitely heard and had this happen where like you really want to start turning to a more natural and holistic lifestyle within your home, whether that's through using herbs or changing your diet or changing what kind of things you use to clean your home with, things like that. But it's really hard to get anybody else in your family on board with it. Has, have you ever been there? 
I definitely was. Like, I came, my, my brother and sister and my mom, none of them are really into this herbalism stuff. They think I'm a little cuckoo because of it. Now here I am, you know, quite a long time into it. So they're a little more understanding and recognize that like, I'm in it to win it for life. So <laughs> there is no stopping me. Um, yeah, like where they support you. And that's what my partner did. He's like, he supported me because how is he going to change my hard headed mind? But definitely you could see the like doubt and skepticism in the mind. And I've, I've been really fortunate to be able to change his mind when I'm able to make really amazing remedies inside of my home, when I'm able to take the time, like he almost cut his whole finger off and where most people would have been going to the hospital, I was able to help stop the bleeding with some yarrow and I made his thumb heal so fast. I didn't make it. The plants made his thumb heal so fast and... Now he's a huge believer and he'll go off and tell his friends about how herbs work and things like that. So it's really, really beautiful. And I just want you to know that it can happen and they can start believing in you. My mom's another example. Like she kind of like wants to know, but she's of the age where pharmaceuticals and TV dinners were heavily pushed and, you know, uh, the convenience lifestyle was heavily pushed. So you know, she kind of tries in an effort to, again, support me and what I do, but doesn't really quite get it. And, um, you know, she'll search online, but what happens when you search online? Have you guys gone and like search Google for the right herbs or whatnot? There's some really amazing information out there for sure. And there's also a bunch of horse poop out there for sure. And there's a lot of heavily marketed companies that will put things out there that aren't true. And it's scary and it's, um, it's insane. <laughs> oh, I I I kind of I kind of ramble on these lives. So pardon me, but I wanted to mention like my mom is now much more of a believer because um she uses my essential salve for like everything. And it's a pretty basic salve. It's delightful. I use calendula, I use comfrey, I use plantain and St. John's wort in there that I infuse in organic uh, coconut oil which is really lovely. There's some other great magical stuff in there, but it helps her immensely. And so now like she's always keeping it around. Roxanne, your family and friends think you're nuts or obsessed, but then do they get to spend time with you in your beautiful garden? That's my question. <laughs> uh, Masha, you're a book kind of girl, collected an abundance of some amazing books. Yeah, me too. Um, what is behind me is about a 16th of my entire book collection. Um, I am an addict and thankfully my partner's gotten so on board that this past um, Mother's Day, well, Mother's Day almost a year ago, he got me a really amazing book by Krista Sinadinos. And she is a brilliant herbalist. She runs an herb school down in Northern California. And her book is like a $180 book, which my partner is not of the type to spend that kind of money on a book, but it's super duper worth it. Um, and I, it was really honestly the sweetest gift I've ever been given and it made me cry, you know, but you know, that was 11 years into our relationship where he's like, okay, you're into this stuff and you love it. Yeah, Chrissy, everyone thinks you're nuts. So how do you guys deal with it? What, what do you guys do when it's like so hard to get your family on board? You just keep, yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Um, you told your husband your walls are just gonna have to be all bookshelves. I have so many bookshelves in my office and my shop and everywhere. It's bonkers. Um, yeah, I love it though. There's so many wonderful authors. I'm actually gonna, I'm aiming to publish my first book next year, which is exciting. Um, I've never... Obviously, it's my first, so I've never done that, but I really just want to help more moms use plants as medicine and do it in a safe and effective way where they're not having to... Yeah, me too, can you tell? <laughs> 
Um, where they're not having to rely so much on the drugstores and the junk that is in there. And, and the first pharmaceuticals, like, again, it's a great way to go. Um, it's not always, or it's, it's not a great way to go. It's a great thing to have in emergency situations. Guys, I totally have Monday brain, plus with having um, daylight savings, and we were down at my mom's house this weekend and got back late last night. Yeah, awesome, Chrissy. That is beautiful. I bet you did a lot of dietary changes and things like that. Did you do like a kind of an elimination re-challenge diet or anything like that? Because you can do amazing things for autoimmune conditions in that way. Like they're always with you, but you won't have to deal with the symptoms that are making life so challenging and painful. Um, my family's like, wait and see people. Yeah, yeah. They're so, yay, good for you. It's no easy feat for sure. I have helped numerous people through that process in life and watched them heal themselves in incredible ways and lose 12 pounds and, or 12 pounds in six weeks and go from five polyps on our colon to one in six months and start sleeping better and ditch the body aches and pains, ditch the stubborn weight gain and bloating. Like it's amazing what you can do. And this is Chrissy. I think you, you get this really well cause you went to East West, right? Um, it's a, it's an amazing skill and art and it's a necessary one to be able to use herbs and food as medicine. So that's where you'll hear me say a lot of times, like food and plants as medicine. Um, or I'm sorry, yeah, herbs and plants <laughs> as medicine and food, of course, because you can throw all the herbs at some particular chronic condition that you're dealing with, but if you're not willing to get rid of what's causing the inflammation, then you're not gonna be able to get anywhere. Those herbs are basically like a squirt gun on a raging fire. And I don't know if you've tried to put a raging fire out with a squirt gun, but it doesn't work so well. But when you decide to get rid of what's making that fire rage in the first place, and let that go and then bring herbs on board, that's when you make the most powerful transformative health shifts. That's when you're suddenly saying, oh my gosh, I feel more energy than I've ever had in my entire life. Holy cow, those body aches and pains are gone. I feel amazing. And it's it's amazing. It's a really, really fantastic blessing. And I hope that more and more people in our world learn this kind of stuff. Yeah, eggs are a huge trigger for so many people. Common triggers in food allergens are eggs, dairy, gluten, sugar, alcohol, carbonated beverages, nuts can be in there. And it's it's not exactly easy trying to find out exactly what is your particular food trigger, but it is so worth the work. It's like, you can think about it this way, spend a couple of months figuring out what's causing inflammation in your body, or live with that inflammation that then just grows, grows, grows into more and more disease throughout your life. It's really a not too tough of a decision, but also not an easy process to go through. So that's where it's really important to find somebody that can help you and guide you through the process too. It's super, super helpful. Um, let's see. Hey guys, have, how many of you have had herb teachers before? I've had like hundreds and I'm so grateful for each and every one of them because they have their unique twist everywhere. But like show me a hand or say me or write down the name of your favorite herb teacher if you've had them. And if you haven't, no worries. We're gonna talk a little bit about herb teachers and how to find good ones, things like that. Um, hey, thank you for my your love and likes. I'm your first. Yay, that makes me feel great. <laughs> Um, you know, I, um, there's amazing herbalists out there. And one of the beautiful things about it is that it is both science and art and people practiced herbalism in so many different ways. I think for me, what I found to be really important in finding teachers that could resonate with me, one, they had to be clearly knowledgeable about what they're teaching. 
to their personality. If you don't like their personality, you're gonna have a hard time learning from them. And that's okay if you don't like my personality. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, I get it. Um, I have had some really brilliant herb teachers, like just amazingly brilliant humans, right? Just filled with so much knowledge. But they have no idea how to break that knowledge down and to make it easy to understand because while plants are cool and it sounds nice and easy breezy, it is very complex. <laughs> very, very complex. There's a reason Chrissy has, is going to get a home full of bookshelves that every wall is a bookshelf. Um, oh, I love that. I remind you of your sister. I'm actually a Melissa. Um, and I am named after the Allman Brothers song, Sweet Melissa. And just a funny little story on that. I've been called Mel since I was about... 10 years old. I was very much a tomboy growing up. I loved to play with the boys. I liked to work on cars and I was very athletic. And um, in my younger, younger years, would beat up the boys and <laughs> things like that. It was kind of a, maybe a meanie, but um, they, um, I, as I grew older, I became an herbalist, right? And I had my herbal product line. And I was nicknamed the name Mountain Mel through a musician friend of mine. If anybody likes bluegrass and knows Fruition, Mimi of Fruition get, nicknamed me Mountain Mel one late, late night jamming out around a fire on the river. And it just kind of stuck. And then my product line kept growing and growing. And I'm like, well, I'll call it Mountain Mel's. But then I got this, I got to this point as it started growing more where I felt really kind of insecure and like an egotistical jerk because my name was in my product line. And so I'm like, well, I'll just kind of hide it. And I'll start going by Melissa, which is perfect because for those of you that don't know, Melissa officinalis is the name of one of my favorite herbs, lemon balm. And um, she's a lovely herb. She's known as nature's sunshine. She's very uplifting phenomenal during colds and flus, especially for kiddos, great for the kiddos with ADHD, great for gut health, um, just an incredible, incredible herb, um, really great as an antiviral, particularly when dealing with a herpes virus. Um, anyways, that's a long way of going about, my name's Melissa, I'm not Melanie. Um, <laughs> I've gone back to Mel and I've just realized that, you know, at least having my name in my brand helps people know I'm a real human and that I actually put a lot of love into what I do. So um, I do love the way you teach about herbs. Thank you. You make it very easy to understand because sometimes it can be difficult to grasp them. Yes. Oh, your other sister's a Melissa. That's so funny. Or Arissa, Marissa. I'm a M-E-L-I-S-S-A. Um, it can be difficult to grasp them. And that's so much of my mission. So thank you, Chrissy, especially coming from an herbalist. I know you've learned from some brilliant herbalists yourself. Um, it is a complex subject and there's so much going on and that's the beauty of it. Like you can learn about one herb that does, you know, you, you learn about an herb that's great for calming the nerves. Let's say chamomile, right? Everybody knows chamomile is great for calming the, the nerves, right? You wanna drink it as a sleepy time tea. But it's also an amazing herb for gut health. It's rich in bitters, which are going to get your digestive juices flowing really well. It is a wonderful carminative, so it helps to ease gassiness and bloating and tummy upset. It is specific for people that get upset stomach when dealing with anxiety. It makes a wonderful little wound wash. It's anti-inflammatory in that way. It's anti-inflammatory for the gut. It's excellent when using it for conjunctivitis as an eye wash. Like, there are so many different medicinal properties. And we as a society, we really love to like pigeonhole the herbs, right? Like, oh, you are this one herb, you are good for this one thing. Ha! Huh. They're so much cooler than that. And when you start to learn in depth with these things, you start to learn how to choose an herb that can help with the many variations of symptoms that may be showing up in a person's body. 
My phone's ringing right now. How long has it been since you've heard an actual phone ring? Um, I'm not gonna answer it because I'm hanging out with you guys. So <laughs> it's way more important. Hey, Jersey Lee, I am really well and welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, and for those of you that are just showing up, hello, my name's Mel. I am a clinical herbalist. I am an herbal products formulator. I own Mountain Mel's Essential Goods. That's my product line up there. Um, I'm the mother of a beautiful eight-year-old daughter. And I, um, I love teaching people how to use plants as medicine. It's one of my biggest missions in this world is to inspire a movement where there's an herbalist in every home again so that you can pass down this knowledge to your children um, and you can we can make herbalism spread like wildflowers. We can take better care of ourselves. You can take better care of your family. We can all take better care of our planet and it is amazing when we can all come together collectively to do this. So S Dennis 4477, do you have one-on-one -on -one consults or a class? I have a class coming up this week. I have a couple of times you can join Wednesday and Thursday. There is a link in my bio. It says register for this free herb class or something along those lines. The class is called From Pills to Plants and in it you're gonna discover how you can use herbs safely and effectively, I'm big on the safe and effective piece and tasty piece, so that you can take better care of yourself and you can take better care of your family. We can all take better care of our planet. You're gonna discover eight of the most potent herbal remedies that you have inside of your kitchen cabinet right now. And then you are also I'm going to learn three of my biggest and bestest tips to make your herbal remedies so tasty that your kiddos cannot resist them, um, which is a huge part of the battle. And um, what else are we gonna talk about in there? Oh, I'm gonna share some of the bigger secrets that the big pharma guys don't want you to know. Um, they're troublesome, those guys, sometimes. I mean, they do some amazing things that can save your life, and there's definitely a time and place for the big pharma stuff. But what is not acceptable is the overuse, the misuse, the abuse of pharmaceutical drugs, the ways that they try to get people hooked and addicted, the ways that they give you a lengthy list of side effects um, just to fix one little thing. So you are so welcome, Jersey Lee. The Times, uh, Wednesday, it's, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, I want to say 10 a.m. noon. I forget, but if you go to that link, it'll give you three choices to sign up. So you can definitely do that. It's either noon, oh, hold on, I can I can pull it up for you. Give me one second. <laughs> I guess I do have a computer near me too. So it is Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that is going to be 3 p.m. your time. And then Thursday, 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. So, 1 o'clock p.m. and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for your love and likes. And if you have friends that you think are into this kind of stuff, please, 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 please share it with them. We do need to have an herbalist in every single home. Um, and when you share these kinds of things, that's how we come together and we make herbalism spread like wildflowers, which are way cooler than all the wildfires that have been spreading. Which leads me to another reason why I do this, because it is so much better for our planet. And I don't know if you've paid any attention, but there have been, thank you so much for sharing. There have been so many wildfires. It's unbelievable. Our earth is super unhappy with what's going on. We need to do something different. We need to do a lot different. And while there are so many things that we can and need to do, what I know how to do to make this world a better place, I know how to teach more people to use plants as medicine and rely less on pharmaceutical drugs that are sometimes no more effective than Kool-Aid. Um, and to really become skilled at choosing the right herbs to, to use at the right time. 
when I teach about herbalism, I come from a very scientific perspective. I think it's a very, very important to understand how your body works so that you can become a really, really skilled herbalist. If you don't understand how your body works or how your children's bodies works, you're going to continue to throw herbal spaghetti at the wall. And while it may look beautiful with flowers of herbs all over your wall, you're not going to be able to make those herbs do what they can do for you. So that's what I try to do. I try to take some very, very complex subjects and teach you how to think critically about what herb to choose at what time. Far beyond just thinking, oh, I read it in a meme or some cute girl on Instagram said this was really good for me. So I'm going to take it and try it. And then it doesn't work. And then you drive back to the drugstore searching for that hopeful instant fix pill because that's how we're taught to use medicine is as an instant fix pill, but instead we can use food and plants and lifestyle choices as a whole medicinal system that is very cost effective, will save you time, save you tons of money, save your health from a long list of side effects and be a little part to save our planet. Helper, are there different dates and times, different classes? I picked the time zone friendly one for Hawaii. Um, there are three times available for the same class. I will be doing live Q and A's in the class. There is a workbook for you to download so that you can um, write your notes in there and really come away with the information because I'm going to go through a lot. I'm going to go through it fast. I'm not going to ramble quite as much as I do here in these lives. I'm gonna be a little bit more focused and then we'll get into the Q and A's at the end too, which is gonna be amazing. And for those of you that can show up live, I highly, highly recommend it because I'm giving some pretty cool things to those that do show up live that you're gonna want <laughs> so it's it's exciting I'm super excited for it so the three different dates and times I'm in Pacific Standard Time I'm in Oregon so we've got Wednesday at 12 p.m. Thursday, I'm doing 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. You're welcome to join me for all of them if you like. Um, how long is the class? It's going to be about 40 minutes. And we'll do Q&A until you're done asking me questions. I'll Q&A all day long. That stuff's fun with me. Oh, uh, Linktree is being such a turd nugget these days. It's so funny because on my registration page, I have a live video where I'm like telling you more about the class. And then, um, hold on, I can give you the web, web address too. Um, I'm telling you more about the class, but when you go to the link tree, it won't show you the video. But then if I do it from like my Instagram or another place still in link tree, it shows the video. Really, really weird. I'm not a tech person. I'm a plant geek, not a tech geek. So geek, no matter what. <laughs> um, so thanks for no letting me know that. And the cost is free. It's totally free. So I would love for you to show up the address if you want. I'll, I'll repeat this a couple times. It's the herbalistspath.com forward slash pills to plants. So T-H-E-H-E-R-B-A-L-I-S-T-S-P-A-T-H, the herbalistpath.com forward slash pills to plants, P-I-L-L-S-T-O-P-L-A-N-T-S. -L -L so I'm going to teach you how you can start going from pills to plants and take better care of yourself and better care of your family and better care of our planet. Yeah, you registered for Friday. Interesting. Make sure you didn't register for Thursday or Wednesday. Um, yeah, you're so welcome on the dates and times. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be lots and lots of fun. We're gonna cover a lot. Um, <laughs> I say I'm gonna tell you eight of the most potent herbal remedies, but I have a nasty habit of just telling way beyond that so if you're there to ask questions you're gonna learn a lot you're gonna learn a lot anyways but I would definitely definitely show up live because I have some fun treats I'm excited to share with you guys and some pretty amazing um 
some amazing recipes and things like that for those that show up live. So it'll be a lot of fun. I promise. I'm, I try to not be a boring teacher. So like back to like the things to look for in a teacher. Oh good. 5 PM Thursday. Yeah. I'm so excited to see you then. It'll be fun. I wonder if you'll come in a different code name because we're going to be doing the class on zoom so I can actually like chat with you guys a bit more. Yay. I'm so excited to have you guys there. Um, it is going to be a good time. And if there are specific things you want to know, definitely get those questions ready to go. And I'll do my darndest to answer them for you. I'm going to try and save like the Q&A session for the end of the class because I don't want to get distracted and sidetracked. If you've been hanging out with me here today, you can hear that I kind of bounce over here and bounce over there. And I really want to make sure that you walk away like, oh my gosh, this is how I can use herbs in my home. Instead of like having to take all the time and money it takes to go to the drugstore to get your next remedies. Sometimes someone in your family is sick. Like you don't have to do that. There's so much in your kitchen cabinet. It makes me all giddy. <laughs> I can't help it guys, it's, it's fun. I have a blast sharing this stuff. I think I was trying to talk about a boring teacher one time. Yeah, just the, the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant teachers, but what they had to share, like it never came across. They couldn't like bring those complex subjects down to my level. And it's my mission to, oh, thank you. I, my passion oozes and it's, um, it's never going away. <laughs> People often will be like, gosh, you're so passionate. And I'm like, yeah going on 20 years at least of this passion and um I I get giddy when I'm excited about things and I really get excited about sharing herbalism and plant medicine with people so it's so beautiful thank you so much breath breath of life 74 thanks for being here it's so exciting and fun Do you guys have any other questions right now or anything like that, hit me up. I'm here now. So um, happy to do what I can to share. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the class. It's going to be a lot of fun. Did you register yet? Breath of Life 74? Were you born in 74? Is that too much to ask? I was born in 78. I'm 43 happy to be and so grateful that I get to share these lessons with my daughter too. And that's kind of my hope. Like I keep saying I, um, I, I was, I haven't <laughs> best herbs for gut health. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them, Angie. It's amazing. Um, it's really going to depend. I do have a whole course specifically, on herbs for gut health. And uh, we're going to be relaunching that in late May. It is really, really a comprehensive course. We talk about your carminative herbs. We talk about the wound healers so that you can heal and repair the damaged gut wall and heal yourself when it comes to having leaky gut, which is usually got a lot to do with most diseases in our body. Um, we talk about anti-inflammatory herbs. We talk about demulcent herbs. Oh man, yeah, so excessive mucus, you're gonna wanna look for a more astringent type of herb to tighten and tone things up. Most often things that to deal with gut health herbs are going to be, oh, we're not talking mucus from the, ins, from, from the digestive system, different person here. Um, you're talking more mucus from the respiratory tract, which by the way, respiratory herbs and gut health herbs often have a lot in common because you're dealing with mucosal tissue in both of those systems um, and that is um, very important in learning what herbs to use at what time so gut health there's so much there's so much there Angie there's so much so some of the ones I love to think about first chamomile super easy um, most of your um, Culinary herbs are phenomenal for gut health. They're what's called carminative, so they help to ease gassiness and bloating and tummy upsets. Um, the biggest thing that you can do for your gut health, though, is find out what is causing inflammation in your body and stop eating it. 
Um, it's not easy. I also have a program. I have it right now. It's um, kind of on an autopilot. Like I've got the videos and the resources for you. It's called Heal Your Body from the Inside Out. There's a lot of information in that very short program, but then it's on you to go about and do the process yourself. Like I've got all the proper journals in there, list to what common allergies are there, substitutes for the common allergies and really so much. But the program in and of itself, when you can go through it and actually do the steps, uh, will change your life. I have watched people darn near cure their autoimmune disease, but you never will fully cure it. Like Chrissy, if she's still on here, she's done something very similar to what this program is. I've watched my students lose 12 pounds in as short as six weeks. I have watched my students uh, start sleeping better, eliminate joint pain and inflammation, get rid of stubborn rashes that they didn't know where they come from. Um, it is amazing what you can do with a little plant medicine and a lot of knowledge. <laughs> That's what's really great. Um, another one that I love for gut health in general, just for easing inflammation, Angie White, Marshmallow Root, I love. It's phenomenal. Um, it's also a great one for the respiratory tract. Yay, Ginger Snap, you're heading over to sign up for Thursday. I'm excited too, and I can't wait to see you. Be sure to show up live though, guys, and stick with me to the end because... Those that show up live are gonna get some extra special bonuses, some pretty sweet recipes, and a couple other really cool things. So it's worth it to hang out with me live. Um, and interesting in learning what I can use to rid mucus from my special needs kiddo. So you're gonna wanna seek out expectorant herbs. And we go really in depth in these kinds of things in my Herbs for Immune Health program. So I have a whole module in there that's all about the respiratory system where I teach you like what are the parts of your respiratory system? How do you choose the right herbs at the right time? Because there's a lot of people that say, oh, this is a respiratory herb, I'm gonna take it but it doesn't help them for their sore throat because maybe what they have going on is a really phlegmy and congested, super mucusy sore throat. Um, at that point in time, you need an expectorant and not a, not a demulcent herb. You need something that's gonna get it out of there and move the stuck congestion. So it's really complex, guys, and that's what I wanna do is teach you the complex stuff Break it down so that you can really understand it and you can truly do the healing. It goes beyond an Instagram meme. Um, I see so much poop out on the interwebs these days and it, it chaps my hide. And so I am here to help you. I wanna help you use plants as medicine intelligently instead of just guessing and throwing crap all over not knowing what you're doing, but instead thinking strategically, thinking critically, what is the right herb to use right now? How can I help this situ situation, whatever it may be, right now? Um, you do have to sign up for the class. The class, there's a link in my, um, oh, Angie, I'm so sorry. Check out the Heal Your Body from the Inside Out. If you wanna take it now and like get started on your own, it's phenomenal. Um, trying to heal long-term antibiotic use damage from Lyme disease, my gut is destroyed. I feel you, um, it's definitely a thing. You can check that out. I am going to offer a live version of it, like where I'll walk you through the whole program and guide you and kind of coach you along, so to speak. I don't really consider myself a coach. I am an educator and I am an empowerer. So I will walk you through that whole process. It's it's definitely more affordable right now. So it depends on what level you want to do it. If you're going to have me guiding you through the whole process, it's going to cost more. Um, somebody a while ago asked me if I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. I'm on a temporary hold on one-on-one -on -one consultations. I really love teaching y'all and I want to teach more people so that I can make more of an impact. But if you do want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, reach out to me, shoot me a DM, email me, head to my website at theherbalistpath.com or mountainmels.com um, and we can talk about it a little bit more. Any info on reversing gallbladder sludge? Um, yes, 
that's one of those consult things. Like I want to know what's going on inside of your body. I want to know what your health history is. I want to know what you're putting in your body. I want to know what's going on before I give you like, take this herb or these herbs. I go in much greater depth with you because you're far more unique than just an instant fix pill. And herbs don't work that way anyways. So, um, but definitely start using more um, diaphoretic, or I'm sorry, diuretic herbs, which are herbs that are gonna promote the flow of urine. So right now is a good time um, as we head into spring, you know, try drinking some nettle tea, some dandelion leaf tea, add dandelion leaf to salads. Make sure your neighbor's dog has not peed on your dandelion leaves. Um, and make sure your neighbor does not spray your dandelion leaves. Um, you can consider cleavers. I just did a tiny little video on like the cutest little baby cleavers I found on my walk with my dogs the other day. Um, they are ph phenomenal for just helping to clear out all kinds of stuff throughout the body. Tony Sue, please sign up through the link in my bio, though somebody did say that the link is broken right now. So I wonder if I can just pop, I'm gonna see if I can pop this in maybe. Um, no, I don't know how to do this. Hmm. I'm not always that bright when it comes to the tech. Tell you about, hold on one second. Um, breathe to life. Yes, he's constantly phlegmy with sore throats. So you want to go for your expectorant herbs. You can consider something like elecampane. You can t consider something like elderberry. Um, again, we go in much greater depth with these things so that you can really tailor it to yourself or your son or whoever it is that you are trying to work with because we're all different and what works for me may not work for you what works for your son may not work for you and that's where you start to think critically and really really become a good healer with natural medicine um can i tell you about herbs used for um do 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 where'd that go i just lost it tell me about herb use for gout or uric acid um celery seed start eating more celery itself in your diet start drinking more nettles flush yourself out urinate a lot um breathe to life i hope you didn't miss me i just talked about um respiratory herbs for your baby um am i living in mold oh no <laughs> is breath breath to life breath of life um, living in mold. That's a good question, Angie. Um, Chrissy, you're coming to the live class, right? I would love to have you. Um, that's the beauty of like herbalism. You can continue to learn about it forever and ever. Um, Ronnie Zam, you're so welcome. You've started incorporating dandelion greens into your salads and drinking the tea. I love that. Okay. Um, signed up on my website for Thursday. Yeah, you tried the link. Okay, hold on. Um, darn link tree. So you can go to the herbalistpath.com forward slash pills to plants. So um, P-I-L-L-S-T-O-P-L-A-N-T-S. I wish I could put this in here and I just have no idea how to. Let me see. Let me push some more buttons and oh, here we go. Comment. Bear with me. I wonder if TikTok will let this show. <laughs> the herbalist path pills to plants. Pills to plants. The herbalist path dot com. And let me see if I can pin this. No, I've seen people pin comments in their lives. Have you guys seen this? Anybody, anybody know what I'm doing on TikTok? <laughs> I am not the tech genius. What I am is an herb nerd and I have major passion in sharing this stuff with you. Jersey Lee, you say it's working now? That is amazing. I hope that it really is. If it is not, I apologize. Um, head over to theherbalistpath.com 
And let's see, I think that we have a registration coming up there also. And maybe I'll just get a registration button on the herbalistpath.com for you guys. Is anybody else still having trouble with this? Let me know, because it's frustrating, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want you guys to be in the class and download the workbook and be ready to ask all kinds of questions and take lots and lots of notes. And I'm a, for me, for note taking, like I don't do so well taking notes on the computer. I like to have it printed out so I can write with a pen and paper. Uh, let me know if you're with me on that. And I'm not alone. And hello, Soft Cuddles 68. You sound like everything I wanna do today. Um, <laughs> all I wanna do is snuggle today. It's one of those days for me, but. I'm gonna power on through it. And hello to those of you that are just joining me. My name's Mel. I'm a clinical herbalist. I'm an herbal product founder and formulator. I have my own herbal product line where I make a line of functional herbal teas to help you um, <laughs> help you feel better and uh, taste great also, because if it doesn't taste great, you're never going to drink it, right? And then the herbs aren't gonna work and you're gonna head back to the drugstore and you're not gonna believe in herbs and your whole family is gonna think you're a kook for even trying them. Um, <laughs> I don't want that to happen to you. So I make herbal remedies that are super tasty and effective. And I make a line of herbal first aid goods, which is actually where I got my start. I was a backpacking guide and wilderness therapist with a background in environmental and experiential education. So I'm really passionate about teaching people. Um, I love to have fun when I teach. I love my students to have fun. Um, I love, love, love sharing the magic of plant medicine with people. It's a blast. And it's one of the ways that I can make a huge impact in our planet and in your life and in my life. My huge whole mission behind it all is to make this world a better place. So I'm glad that you're here. Tony Sue, acid reflux, heartburn. We go into depth in that one and herbs for gut health as well. And I have a tea. You can get it in the shopping tag. I can see if I can pull it up right here. Um, it is called Backwoods Belly. And I made it for REI, which is an outdoor um, outdoor sporting goods store in the US if you're not here. Um, and they carry my products, my herbal first aid products. But they had me make this happy camper kit. And in it, like I, I asked all my friends, I'm, I'm outdoorsy and I live on a mountain. I asked everybody like what they bring in their first aid kits. And um, they, you know, everybody brought Tums and all kinds of weird things. And I'm like, no man, like plants are there. Plants are there for you. So um, I created this tea. It's Backwoods Belly. It's a tummy taming tea perhaps a silly name for it of backwoods belly, but a lot of people go camping and they eat just junk for food and then they end up with more heartburn, things like that. So this is specific for it. And I chose a blend of herbs. It's really tasty, by the way. I make all of my teas delicious. This is how it looks. There's chamomile in there. There is holy basil, marshmallow leaf, meadow sweet, licorice, plantain, ginger, aniseed, calendula, and fennel. Super duper tasty blend. Amazing for heartburn, acid reflux, and GERD, as well as inflammation in the gut. Um, all kinds of things. So I do have a tea called Digesties that's all about loving your gut and easing inflammation. It's also super tasty, but I actually made the Backwoods Belly because this is um, really heavy in peppermint. Beautiful, beautiful tea and super amazingly effective. Um, but peppermint is not recommended for those dealing with heartburn and acid reflux. So consider that. But you definitely want your cooling anti-inflammatory herbs. I go in much, much greater depth of that in Herbs for Gut Health, um, which is open for enrollment in late May. So keep your eyes on that kind of stuff. Um, soft cuddles 68. What do I suggest you use if you have cancer? I suggest you work with an oncologist. I have a few of my teachers who specialize in oncology and herbalism. One of them is named Chanchal Cabrera, C H A N C H A L C A B R E R A. 
another man out of Ashland, Oregon. His name is Donald Yance. He's absolutely beautiful. He has a wonderful book. Um, and it's all about herbal medicine and healing cancer. Um, this is one of my teachers. He is brilliant. Get yourself this book. I am not a specialist in the field of oncology. I have ideas on things that you can do to change things, but these people can actually make major, 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 major impact in your health and your well-being. So, um, also, I also, also, I also, I recommend that you don't go on social media to find out your health care, particularly when dealing with cancer. No offense. And yes, I am a knowledgeable herbalist who can help you in immense ways, but I can't do that for TikTok. <laughs> You're unique and what's going on with your body is incredibly unique. So herbs work differently for each person and each symptom. And there's a whole lot going on. It's a really complex process. And that's why I like to teach people how to use plants as medicine, how to choose the right herbs at the right time, and how to do it in a safe and effective way instead of just throwing herbal spaghetti at the wall. Um, so bronchitis, you know, there's a lot you can do there too. I have a lot of videos on this um, and different herbs that you can use, but I make this tea. It's called Respiratory Rescue and it is all about soothing and coating your sore throat. Um, I like to tell a story of an amazing, um, <laughs> this amazing time I had bronchitis and it was right when I was like really starting to get into herbalism, right? I just pinned my respiratory rescue. It says $80. That's for a pound. <laughs> That's not for this tin. This tin is currently 16 though. I do have to raise my prices coming on Thursday. Um, it's been a long time and I've been putting it off cause I don't want to, but in order for me to continue to make them in the sustainable fashion and high quality that I do, everything for me has gone up in price. So, um, and for everybody else too. So I have to keep my business going so I can keep making great herbal remedies. Well, not remedies. They're not remedies cause nobody would want you to know that these plants can actually help you live healthier disclaimer um what about popular eczema chamomile is amazing for so many good things yes i would recommend respiratory rescue for your kiddos anything for panic and anxiety unfrazzle your dazzle this is to calm your nerves and stress lefts and it is very specific for panic and anxiety my daughter deals with anxiety in some major major ways um and this is filled with what's called a bunch of nervine herbs it is very calming and soothing i love this blend when i take it out in public and i just have people smell the tin like i just did Oh, it is amazing. It is so beautiful, so calming, so peaceful. And I watch people smell it and they just like, their shoulders drop back and they just, ah. And I'm like, you just smelled my tea and you're already feeling better. <laughs> it's amazing. It's truly amazing. And then when they drink the tea, it's like this, it's like drinking a giant hug in a mug to just squeeze all the stress away. It's really amazing. Susan, Susan Dugan Montafia, you are so welcome. Um, sorry, don't be sorry. You have fibromyalgia. Any suggestions? Um, loaded topic. And this goes to the question about popular eczema. Um, but that those are in, inside jobs. You gotta really get to the root cause of the problem. I do have a program called Heal Your Body from the Inside Out. You can find it on the first page of my website at The Herbalist Path. Um, it is a really, really wonderful program. This is the kind of do-it-yourself version of it where I give you all of the information, tools, and resources that you need to go on a journey to healing yourself. I will be re-offering this as a more group kind of coaching program available later in May when I also offer herbs for gut health. It's incredibly empowering, and when you make the changes to heal your body from the inside out, you will get rid of 
your eczema. You will get rid of your pain from fibromyalgia. Melanie Cave, back pain, you know. Aw, thank you so much for all the roses. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten a rose on TikTok. Um, that is beautiful. Um, back pain, you know, of course, stretching, right? That's important. I do have a product that I make that people say is phenomenal. It's this stuff right here. I'm not sure if that's focusing at all, but it's called Bobcat Balm. And I use Arnica, Comfrey, St. John's Wort, Cayenne, um, menthol, eucalyptus, comfrey. Cayenne is a phenomenal topical anti-inflammatory and pain relieving agent, as is the arnica. The comfrey just speeds the healing process. The, the cayenne is really cool because it increases blood flow to the area, which can ease pain and aches and, excuse me, and inflammation. Um, it also opens up your capillaries so that the rest of the medicinal constituents that are in this formula will get right to where they need to be without having to think too hard about it. So this is called Bobcat Balm. You can get it from my Mountain Mel's website. Um, I, I think we've got a few new people in here and just a quick hello. My name's Mel. I'm a clinical herbalist. I'm also an herbal product formulator and I own a company called Mountain Mel's Essential Goods. When I say I own a company, it's me and my partner and you know, occasionally we have somebody help with um, production and labeling and things like that. Um, but I make herbal teas that are formulated to make you live better and also taste great. And I do a line of herbal first aid goods, which that Bobcat Balm is a part of. It's for aches and pains and sprains and strains and, and just speeding the healing process of those kinds of things. I am also a podcast host. I have a podcast called The Herbalist Path. I teach people online. Um, I have a few programs and a new one coming in July, which I'm super excited about. And I have a free class coming up this Wednesday and Thursday. You can register for it through the links in my bio or head to the herbalistpath.com forward slash from pills to plants. Um, and what else do I do? I do a lot of stuff when it comes to plant medicine. I live up in the foothills of Mount Hood. I'm the mother of a beautiful young daughter. She's eight and she's goofy and I love it. And I am really, really passionate about inspiring a movement where there's an herbalist in every single home again so that we can take care of each other. You can take better care of yourself. You can take better care of your family. We can all take better care of our planet. Um, that's my mission and I'm sticking to it because the more people that use plants as medicine, the better off we all are. All of us, all of us. Um, juicy fruit back to you. Yeah, I would totally use respiratory rescue with your kiddos. Um, hold on. Where'd we go? Oh, so many questions guys. This is awesome. You're beautiful. My doctor, a specialist got very upset when I suggested naturopathic medicine and using herbs to help. I'm sorry. Maybe it's time to consider a new doctor. But um, there are good ones out there and naturopathic medicine is amazing. And there's also, I see why they might get upset because there's a lot of really, really crappy information out there. Hands down, first one to say that. That's another part of my mission. I have a really loud voice and I wanna use it to help squish some of the bull crap people are teaching out there. Like the, there's some unmentionable companies that like to bring people on and say, sell our stuff and they send them to a party and suddenly those people are healthcare experts. Yet me and my colleagues that are naturopathic physicians and nurses and people that have been studying herbalism and, and, and plant medicine and naturopathic medicine for 10, 20, 30 years, nobody wants to listen to us. I've only been studying herbalism for 20 years, um, clinically about 10 years. So, um, Really, really important stuff. Um, TikTok hates me. That's so funny. Cellulitis, recurring. Doctor wants them on Bactrim, daily dose. I don't know what Bactrim is. I don't have the time in this live to see what that is. Um, Dawn 524, I did talk about fibromyalgia earlier. Um, just briefly. Hey, Ray Ray Rocky, hello from Canada. Um, yeah, there you are. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I answered that fibromyalgia for you. Hey, from Colorado. I love Colorado. 
Malestra, you're back. I'm so excited that you're going to be in the live class. Um, do I have anything for diabetes type 2? I have a lot of recommendations on healthy lifestyle changes. Um, I do make a tea that happens to be pretty neato, though I would never tell you that it is for diabetes type 2. It just happens to be really amazing for strengthening and toning the heart and cardiovascular system. If you would like to learn more about herbs that do those kinds of things, you can check out my YouTube channel. I recently just did a podcast and a YouTube video on my three favorite herbs for heart and circulatory health. This right here contains quite a few of them. Um, hibiscus heart song for a happy, healthy heart and soul. It's phenomenally beautiful, highly effective. So I use hibiscus, those beautiful flowers you can see in there. There is lemon balm. There is lemon verbena. There is... Um, Hawthorn, which is one of the best herbs out there for heart and circulatory health. There is also cinnamon. Um, there is a lot going on in there. If you guys are digging this and you think you have friends that would love it too, please, please, please share this live with them so we can make more herbalism spread like wildflowers. Severe water gain, you need diuretic herbs. So you need to start urinating more and releasing that water. You could also benefit from some diaphoretic herbs, which are going to promote the sweat from your body to release and release toxins in that way. So great diuretic herbs are all beginning to pop up right now. I think of nettles and I think dandelion right away are two of my most favorite diuretics because they're gonna do so much more for your body as well. Drink it cold, helper kid. I'm not a hot liquid drinker. Do I steep these first then add ice? Boom, shakalaka. Yes, you do. Actually, this one right here, the hibiscus heart song is phenomenal on ice. It's so tasty. Are you guys, do you guys want my teas? Like, I'm like, oh, I should give them a discount code or something. I didn't even think about that because I just came on to nerd out about herbs and here I am like, way longer than I was supposed to be live, but I'm gonna create a discount code for you guys. So if you wanna try the Hibiscus Heart Song, or if you wanna try um, the Unfrazzle Your Dazzle, or the Bobcat Balm, or any of those things, you can. I have like this little shopping tag, and you can get to all of my products through the link in my bio. Also, you can also get them through, like TikTok's now got like TikTok shopping, and they want me to go live and do more shopping stuff, but I always go live and I just wanna teach you about herbs. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a goof. Um, discount code. How about 20% off? I am going to give you guys a 20% discount code. And it's just called TikTok 20, TikTok Live 20, I'll call it. Hold on one second. So if you are into it and you want to try some of these, I know for a fact that you are going to fall in love because... You will be drinking teas that you've never seen before. Like I, I buy most of my herbs from a woman owned organic herb farm that's about two hours away from me. Um, ha, 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 ha. I don't like tea, it always makes me sick. Um, I'm not laughing at you, Blue, Blue Bell, but I am laughing because I hear this all of the time. But let me tell you a secret. There is no tea in my tea. They're all herbal blends. Here's the bigger secret. This is my superpower, y'all. I, yes, I'm a clinical herbalist, but I was also a bartender for 20 plus years. So I am really, really, really good at dancing the medicinal properties of plants with their flavor profiles to make herbal teas that actually taste great. Because if they do not taste great, you're never going to drink them. And then you're going to think that they do not work well, which is the farthest thing from the truth. So that's my secret Jedi trick behind Mountain Mel's essential goods. I'm totally a mixologist. I am totally an herbologist. I am an alchemist. <laughs> I love, 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 love formulating products. It's amazing because I help people. Guys, <laughs> it feels so good. It feels so good. Um, oh my God, what's the difference with herbals and teas? Do herbs contain caffeine? They do not. Um, so tea actually comes from the plant um, Camilla sinensis. And so all your white tea, black tea, green tea, all those teas are going to come from Camilla sinensis. 
I have never used Camilla Sinensis in any of my blends. I like when I first started, I kind of considered, oh, well, do I call it tea or do I call it tisane or herbal infusion? Because technically that's what I make. Um, and I decided on tea because nobody would know what the heck I'm talking about. And tisane or tisane or however it's pronounced just kind of sounds really snooty. And I am not snooty and I do not want my brand represented as snooty. Magic Mags, thank you. I love being a ray of sunshine for you. Um, I don't like tea. Yeah, it always makes me sick. Do I have anything else? Let me see if I'm missing any questions. I talked about water gain. Malestra, thank you for your love. Um, Ivy Hernandez, I did talk about the Hibiscus Heart Song. Y'all, if you want to try any of these, I did just create a, um, a discount code. TikTok Live 20. So if you go to my website or to the shopping tag inside of TikTok, um, you are welcome to use that discount and I will thank you so much. I am grateful if you choose to do that. It helps support me and my little family, um, which is beautiful. And it makes it so I can teach more of this stuff to you guys and continue doing my part in making this world a better place by having more people use plants as medicine. So it's like, I love to teach this stuff and I love to formulate the stuff so that whether you choose to use my products, which awesome, or you choose to learn with me where I can empower you to make your own products. Hey, thank you so much, Juicy Fruit. I appreciate you. Anything for weight loss, Wanda? Um, you know, it's springtime, so do a spring cleanse. Start thinking about getting bitter herbs into your diet to improve the overall digestive process. And it all comes down to diet and exercise. Don't starve yourself kind of diet, but change your lifestyle kind of diet and stop taking, eating the things that are causing inflammation in your body. Um, I have a program that's called Heal Your Body from the Inside Out that you can access from the herbalistpath.com right on the front page. Um, that particular program is kind of a self-paced do it on your own. I have some videos in there that guide you along the whole process and all of the resources you need. And we talk about what triggers um, um, inflammation in your body and how to eliminate it and substitutes and all kinds of things in there. It's a program that I also do guided for people. So I'll be doing that guided again later in May, later this spring. You're so welcome, Wanda Moore. Um, and it's gonna, it's gonna cost a little bit more when it's guided with me. Um, and um, worth it, but you can also do it on your own right here, right now. And it's just something that I've had my students in the past that have lost 12 pounds in six weeks that have gotten rid of stubborn weight gain and belly bloat and that bleh kind of feeling that have gotten rid of joint pain that have reduced their symptoms and side effects of autoimmune disease in incredible ways. Uh, what else have they done? Um, gotten rid of skin rashes more mental clarity and focus. It's getting late for me today. I got home really late last night and the daylight savings as well. So Bluebell, thank you so much. Um, my personality, it's, it's a goofy one. <laughs> I like to have fun, that's for sure. So, and I just, I really get high off of talking about herbs and sharing this kind of stuff. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And Roxanne Donovan, what about energy boost herbs? There's a lot of ways we can go there because like I was talking about the Camilla Sinensis plant and how I do not use it in any of my blends. Thank you for your love and likes, guys. And thanks for sharing this video. You all are beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, you know, there are a few. I use my where is my mind. And I'm not sure if I have a tin of that. I do. I'm in my office on my desk and like I've got my teas all over the place. Um, I use this stuff. It's where is my mind for mental clarity and focus. And so I start my days with a cup of coffee. I love coffee. I run two businesses. I'm the mom of an eight-year-old. I got a lot going on. I need an, an ignition switch, right? But then if I drink too much coffee, my brain just goes gah, 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 on overload and I, I can't get any work done because I can't focus, right? And I'm just like jittery and spazzo and it's no fun. Um, so I switched to this tea. I'm actually blending that in my Wonderful Woman's today. Um, and the Wonderful Woman's is like a nourishing hormonal balancer and it's day one of my period today. So I'm just kind of like, Bleh. 
and it's gray and cloudy and I'm tired anyways. Um, so for those of you that think I'm bubbly, this is my, my like, I want to snuggle on a couch kind of day, um, which is kind of funny. Um, but this one here, I do a blend of go-to cola and ginkgo biloba, which brings circulation up to the brain. They make you more intelligent. <laughs> they can help prevent and... Um, prevent and provide maintenance for Alzheimer's and dementia. They keep you focused and sharp and they're just really amazing. Um, there's rosemary and peppermint and nettles and ashwagandha root all in here and red clover as well. Wanda, yeah, I've been hearing there's some problems with the link tree. Um, I have two websites that you can head to. One is the herbalistpath.com, T H E H E R B A L I S T dot com. I'm going to write in here. I have a free class coming up, and it's on Wednesday and again on Thursday. And it's called From Pills to Plants. And I am going to teach you how you can start using plants as medicine and do it in a safe and effective way inside of your own home and start taking better care of yourself and your family. So I just did the website for From Pills to Plants. And then we were just talking a little bit about my product. So I'll share that website too. Darn that link tree. <laughs> so frustrating sometimes it's so funny i was just talking with my like my sanity helper in the world of business and she was like why are we on linktree like let's get rid of that and create our own website for this stuff so um yeah you can find my herbal products at mountainmels.com which also is right here m-o-u-n-t-a-i-n-m-e-l-s.com and it's kind of a slow website i need a new website but it's just not my top priority at the moment um but that's where you can find my functional herbal teas and herbal first aid goods and i just did share a promo code for you guys TikTok Live 20 for 20% off at Mountain Mel's Essential Goods. And for those of you that are just joining and don't know me yet, hello, I am Mel. I am a clinical herbalist. I'm a mama of a beautiful eight-year-old daughter. I live up in the foothills of Mount Hood. I'm also an herbal products formulator and I run a little herbal products company called Mountain Mel's Essential Goods. I make a line of functional herbal teas and herbal first aid goods really focus on making herbal products that are safe and effective and tasty as well. So I love, 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 love sharing that stuff with people. Um, and I'm really, really passionate about teaching you how to use plants as medicine in a safe and effective way. So whether you choose to like buy my products or you choose to learn from me, all of them are awesome. I'm really grateful, by the way. Thank you so much for just being here and live with me. Um, it's such a beautiful honor. But I also want you to learn how to do these things yourself as well. Um, because we can make a much better difference for ourselves, for our families, for our planet, for all of us. It's really, really a beautiful thing. Breath of life, welcome back. I think you might have left right when I was talking about some respiratory herbs specific for like expelling mucus, so like expectorant herbs. We definitely go really in depth on all the respiratory herbs inside of my Herbs for Immune Health program, um, where you like really get good and knowing what herbs to use when and the safest way to do it. Jaded heart, I'm sorry you're jaded girl, but hi. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I'll uh, add a little sunshine to your life. <laughs> Thank you for your love and like, y'all. And thanks for sharing this video. I really, really appreciate you guys. And I hope that you are coming to my live class on Wednesday or Thursday. Apparently, Linktree is down. Bunch of turds. I want to check that out, too. Um, <laughs> let me see what they say. They're so weird, though. Like, um... My link tree link to this particular class, like signing up kind of thing, works super well on Instagram and other places, but on TikTok for some reason, it doesn't show my video. Like I have a video when I'm telling you about the class 
and it doesn't show up for TikTok. So, well, one of you let me know, is the link working in Linktree right now? Because it's showing for me that it is, wait, nope, I'm getting the spinning wheel of death. Spinny with a death. Um, so I have three times you can join the class for you, Breath of Life. Um, it is a wonderful class. It's called From Pills to Plants. And you're going to discover how to use herbs safely and effectively so that you can take better care of yourself, you can take better care of your family, and you can take better care of our planet. We're going to talk about eight of the most potent herbal remedies that you have inside of your kitchen cabinet right now. We are going to talk about some of the bigger secrets that the big drugs companies um, don't want you to know. On Instagram, you can find that, I think, in my bio, just um, conveniently through TikTok, but I'm at The Herbalist Path. I'm The Herbalist Path all the way around. I'm on YouTube. I host a podcast called The Herbalist Path. I'm The Herbalist Path on Instagram and on Facebook. I'm also Mountain Mel's on Instagram and Facebook. Um, as far as times go, Wednesday, this is happening. Oh yeah, Linktree's doing maintenance. Bummer. Um, Wednesday, the class is happening doo -doo -doo, at 12 p.m. Pacific. So that means three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thursday, 17th, where you're green. Uh, happening doo -doo -doo, at 12 p.m. Pacific. So that means three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thursday, 17th, where you're green. Um, we're doing 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 5 p.m. So that's 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. for you. Um, yay, you found me on my website. Good. Sorry, link trays down, y'all. Such a bummer. Um, yes, my name is the same on Instagram and YouTube, The Herbalist Path. And my podcast, if y'all are podcast listeners... And yeah, the class you can find at theherbalistpath.com forward slash. Um, oh, you're so smart, Breath of Life. No Facebook or Instagram. <laughs> um, I was just having this conversation with my partner. I've really been having fun on TikTok though, y'all. Like TikTok, I just started January 2nd and I never for the life of me thought I would be into TikTok. Like I'm the kind of girl that just wants to go hang out with trees and plants and hug a tree and spend my time outside. Thanks so much for sharing this. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I was like, no, I'll never go on TikTok. I'm 43 years old. What would I do on TikTok? Right. But I've been having a blast and I just started on here on January 2nd. And it's like, I get to come on and be totally me and just have fun and share some good facts and share more information. It's a blast. So I love it. I still can't stand Instagram and Facebook. I've never really been able to, but I've always like, oh, I own a business, so I got to stay over there, la da 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 um, But one of these days, I'll just have somebody do that for me and maybe just take my TikToks and repurpose them over there the lazy way. <laughs> Social media, it's a, it's a troublesome land, but I do have a good time here on TikTok, so... That is wonderful. Guys, I was supposed to go for uh, 30 minutes. I'm almost at an hour and a half. So you've been fun. Um, you guys are amazing. 50 and brand new to TikTok. Heck yeah, me too. 43 and just started on TikTok January 2nd. I made like, I had like this thing with a community that I'm with. I was like, okay, I'll commit to shooting is like sharing two TikToks a day for 30 days. And I did, and I just had so much fun. I have a blast making them. And like, you know, I'm starting to get a little more creative with them. Though like, <laughs> anytime I do a trending TikTok, it fails miserably for me. But when I'm just me and I share my stuff and some information with you guys, you're super supportive. So thank you. I really appreciate it. It's a lot, a lot of fun for me. Um, yeah, I'm having a blast here. So, Roxanne, you're super active here too. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, it's fun building a community. But I need to get going. It's about time for me to go home and see how my baby girl's day was for school. We got home right, really late last night from grandma's. And so I'm sure that she's going to be kind of tired and grumpy. <laughs> so I'm in for a delightful evening. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Almost 50 and new too. I give it all to the most high. 
Thank you guys so much for showing up for this live, for all your love and your comments. I'll be live again tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same thing with Wednesday. And I hope to see you inside my class on Wednesday or Thursday. Y'all have a beautiful day. And don't forget to make herbalism spread like wildflowers.